And tomorrow marks one year since the Uvalde school massacre. 19 students, two teachers were killed at Robb Elementary. The KPRC to investigates Mario Diaz has been examining the various security steps being taken by law enforcement and schools since last summer. He joins us live from Uvalde right across from Robb Elementary. Mario, we know there are differences from last year to this year. How would you break those down for us? Well, let me begin by saying that overall there is a much more focused approach involving a commitment by everyone who has an interest in this. As you take a look behind me here, you can see the memorial that stands in front of a closed down Rob Elementary School. And we talk about that commitment and who's involved where well, you have school districts, law enforcement, as well as legislators in Austin working to try and ensure that what took place here doesn't happen again in a Texas classroom. The images of Uvalde are haunting. The cops didn't do it, but standing outside. Officers at a standstill at Robb Elementary that day. 19 children and two teachers are gunned down. Oh my God! An inadequate response by law enforcement, along with the shooter's easy access to the school, forced many to ask how to best respond to an active shooter on campus. KPRC2 Investigates was in Central Texas last summer as law enforcement officials highlighted the school marshal program where an armed school staffer assists with an immediate response. Here's the, weapon. the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement says there are approximately 305 school marshals in 74 districts statewide. That number is up from 256 marshals in 62 districts a year ago. We also have seen enhanced active shooter training in the classroom. Help! An abandoned middle school transformed into an active shooter training lab, as Montgomery County officials call it, designed for officers from all sectors, including those who patrol campuses large and small. We're not trying to keep it to ourselves. This is a facility that everybody could come and use. Since the Uvalde massacre, there has been an enhanced effort to make schools safer. With a lot of districts, the training has doubled. Solomon Cook is the president of the Texas School District Police Chief Association. He also is the chief for Humble ISD, a district he says has been strongly emphasizing active shooter training for years. The state requires us to do firearms training once a year. We do it multiple times a year. Cook says that he and other school chiefs are focused on Austin this session to see what legislation may bring in terms of support and resources, specifically in mental health. He also adds, because of Uvalde, district police chiefs are talking more. How beneficial is it from the association's perspective to see all of these chiefs coming together and having more communication between one another with regards to school safety? It's very beneficial. It puts us all on the same page with training and best practice. Uh, training obviously is the focus here. As you can see behind me, there are some two individuals here paying their respects here nearly a year to the day of the Uvalde tragedy. The school remains completely shut down behind me with the fences closed. Uh, Cook also told me, he's the chief that you saw in the piece there from Humble ISD. He made it very clear to me that what he's hoping for is that you also see resources and funding for mental health services, more of that to be provided in the future because they are looking to try to assist those students and those members of the community who need it that are just now receiving it. He says that is a key component to also helping prevent situations like this one, tragedies like this one from happening in the future. Live in Uvalde tonight, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. Mario.